Adivai Oh, oh why Blessed day to all innovators and educators out there. I am Jarson Sagibal Onyo, a senior high school teacher in Benguet, Cordillera Administrative Region, proponent of the innovation entitled Card Later Enhancer of Word Problem Solving Ability of Grade 11 Learners. Solving word problems is a way to bridge real life math and mathematics classroom. However, upon hearing mathematics, there is an automatic panic because of the numerous symbols but in reality symbols are introduced to make things simpler therefore the main purpose of the innovation is to enhance the translating ability of learners so they can solve word problems specifically it aimed to enhance learners skills in translating sentences to mathematical characters for easier problem solving provide engaging activity to grade 11 learners in the topic functions, and explore the potential of card games as a learning resource in solving word problems for possible adoption and modification. From schools and retirement homes to casinos and parties, card game is an important part of our culture. It is a flexible and cost-efficient teaching tool, yet not a total gamble. Wherever you go in the world, you are bound to find these games, which are timeless and international favorites. In these accounts, the innovation card later has paved way for me to be hailed as the most outstanding secondary teacher in our division up to the region. It has gone quality assurance in the division and was endorsed for review and utilization in the entire region. In fact, I was able to have it be copyrighted under my name. Moreover, I have been invited in different schools to share my innovation as well as to encourage them to innovate. To name a few, I served as a resource speaker during the Division Colloquium on Action Research and Innovation Batches 1 and 2 last June and July 2019, Sablon District last October 2019, Balili National High School last December 2020, and in Eastern Latrinidad National High School last December 2020. As regards replicability and scalability, this innovation can provide meaningful experience to learners and a fantastic learning resource for teachers who struggle in teaching word problem solving. By the way, the name of the innovation Card Later is a portmanteau to our combination of the words Card and Translator, since the game involves translating situations to mathematical sentences. This is how the cards were crafted. First, I had to write situations as well as their translations and had it be validated by experts. Next, as an illustrator in the division, I took initiative to illustrate the back part of the card using the app Pen Tool Sci. The illustrations and statements were then placed side by side in Microsoft Publisher prior to printing on a special paper. Finally, the cards were laminated and placed in a deck ready for instruction. Generally, incorporating games into mathematics instruction increases both students' motivation and performance level as demonstrated by their scores. Games can lower math anxiety, making the acquisition of input more likely, reducing the learner's linguistic dependency. An analysis was conducted that brought to light the following. The table shows the comparison of the scores of the experimental and control group in the post-test using t-tests on independent means. The obtained p-value lesser than the level of significance 0.05 signified rejection of the null hypothesis. This claims that the experimental group performed better than the control group in the post-test. The use of card games among the experimental group is beneficial in solving word problems. The next table shows the effect size using Cohen's D. The score 0.73 indicates intermediate effect of card games on the performance of the experimental group. This means that the average person in the treated group would score higher than 72% of the control group. Card games provide opportunity for the students to practice and repeat the sentence pattern and vocabulary without complaining about how much they have to do. 
In fact, this is one of the times when my learners are willing to sacrifice their break just to finish the activity. Some of the sections even ask for the set of cards to be left in their room. Through this innovation journey, I realized that if we cannot secure a learning resource, we have to contextualize and develop them ourselves. If teaching is contextualized, our students take ownership of their learnings and apply them in real life. Speaking of real-life problems, I also learned that a problem correctly translated is half-solved. Even if learners are equipped with computational skills, if they lack the ability to translate, the ultimate goal of applying mathematics in real life is defeated. To end, let me share this Chinese proverb, If you give someone a fish, he eats fish that day. But if you teach him how to fish, he eats fish for a lifetime. As educators, we should not teach things shallow, but we have to go deep. Should there be an adequacy, we have to innovate. Thank you for sparing your time, and may we benchmark on these innovations and keep them on multiplying. Iyaman, God bless. Every single day